Hi, this is Emily with No Side Music, and today I'm going to give you an introduction to the violin. We're going to talk about the different violin parts and how everything works together. Um, so to get started, we've got our bow, we've got the tip, the frog, our stick, the bow hair. And before you get started, if you get a brand new violin, you'll probably have to rosin your bow a lot to be able to get sound from it. You have to get the rosin on the horse's hair um, for it to produce sound. And so I've already done that many moons ago. Um, but today to get us started, I'm going to just rosin it a little bit to kind of show you what to do. So you start at the bottom, go to the tip, and then go back down and you'll want to do that a couple of times i like to do um use diadario rosin i find it's the best for the bow and it's most common to use and they got this nice little grip on it so you don't have to um actually touch the rosin it's kind of like a sap um kind of consistency and just a hardened sap and then once you've rosined your bow you're gonna flick the very bottom and you're gonna get all that excess rosin off of your bow so you don't get it on your violin and then that is all set up. And then with your violin, you're gonna want to tune first to make sure you're practicing in key. I like to use the Korg um, Chromatic Tuner. It's my favorite. I've been using it for over a decade. And to get started, we'll tune our violin. So the biggest string is the G string. Next, we have the D string. And then we've got A. And then we've got E. E is the tiniest one over here. So when you get started each day that you practice, you want to tune your violin to those four strings. And then we're gonna go over the anatomy of the violin. There's a little more parts here than on the bow. So up here at the top, we've got the scroll. And then we've got our tuning pegs. There's two on each side. Our four strings. The black part right here is our fingerboard. And then we've got the body of the violin and our F holes. And then inside here is our um, post. Um, you can kind of see it if you look inside the F holes. Then we've got our bridge here, which our strings go across. And then we've got our tail piece, all four fine tuners. Not every violin has that, but I like having all four of the fine tuners. Then we have our chin rest. And on the back side, I have my shoulder rest. And then because I perform, I have a pickup system for my violin. And so this is a quarter inch pickup system, which you will probably not have. And then we've got the back of the violin right here and the neck right here. So kind of a lot of body parts on the violin. Okay, so that is the anatomy of the violin. When you are first practicing, you'll practice just holding the violin on your neck. And one exercise I like to do is hold your violin out, you spin it counterclockwise, and then you pull it into your neck right here. And you kind of have your head look at an angle down the strings. And then starting off for exercises, you'll probably just have your hand right here on the violin body. And then as you start doing scales and start learning songs, you'll move your hand down here and you just want to keep everything really straight and natural. And you've got your elbow underneath your violin and you never want to have your violin too high or too low, just really like level. And then that's what that looks like right there. And then as we play, we like to have our fingers flat. You kind of want to make it look like they're um, a table. So you have everything bent and really close together. And then with our bow, we are gonna have our bow, bow hold here, pinky on top, two fingers cover the eye, knuckle right here, thumb is bent on the inside, elbow is out. You kinda wanna create a box with your arm and then your um, bow as it touches the violin right here in the middle. And you never wanna have your elbow too high or too low. You kinda wanna make it look like a goose right here where your wrist is just above your hand and then your elbow is below. That's where you'll get the most strength to be able to play your violin. And so, um, just to give you a little form idea of what you're supposed to be doing. Bow stays right here in the middle in between the bridge and the fingerboard where you will get your best sound. Your neck rests comfortably on your chin rest and it will probably hurt a little bit um, when you are first getting started but it'll um, get less and less sore um, the more that you practice. And then your goal is to be able to hold your violin with your shoulder and your neck without putting too much pressure on each because you want to leave your hand free to be able to move up and down the violin. And so the goal 
goal is to be able to do that because you want to keep your hand free to be able to move as it needs to and you never ever want to have your wrist up right here because um, it'll keep you from being able to move so wrist down is optimal and then this is what a correct form looks like Alrighty, that is all I have for you today. I will see you next time.